Hey, friend, Chris Vandeviver here from MyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Today, in this 30-day series of Why Logic Pro Rules, I am sending my love letter to the Zoom tool in Logic. I absolutely love the Zoom tool, and the few times I'm ever in a different DAW, I just can't stand the way Zoom works in other software. I just, I can't get over it. I'm so accustomed to the fluidity of zooming in and out in Logic using the Zoom tool. Anything else just pales in comparison to me. So I want to demonstrate the different ways you can zoom in and out on your tracks. But really, I want to demonstrate to you with two keys. If you can commit these to memory, you'll be flying around in Logic in no time flat. So let's navigate to the mouse click tools. If we either use key command T or go up to the menus here, we have the option of the zoom tool. It's about halfway down. Looks like a magnifying glass. And when I select it, if I just click hold and drag over anything in Logic. We zoom in on that section in the main window. And if I click anywhere without holding and dragging, it zooms back out. So we're getting back to the macro or 50,000 foot view of our project. And as I pointed out in the quote unquote smart tool video, I don't really like to switch up my mouse tool. Instead, I like to use key commands related to the zoom tool. Makes life so much faster and easier. But before we get to that, just real quick, there's a couple of different ways that you can zoom in and out of your projects. To start, we can use the command and arrow keys to zoom in and out. So if you hold command and press right arrow, you can kind of zoom in horizontally, press the down arrow to zoom in vertically. And if we use the left arrow and the up arrow, we can contract. So that's pretty good, that's okay. We can also zoom in using the key command Z. So I'm gonna select a region, press Z, and now we've zoomed in on this dog bark sound. And if I press Z again, it zooms us out. And you can make a selection as well. So if we select these four regions of tracks, press Z, we're now zoomed in on that section of the project. Okay, this is a step better. Additionally, if you're zoomed way out and you select any track in your session and press Control Z, it expands the view. So this makes it a little easier to take a look at one particular track at a time. So if I press the up or down arrows, we're now zooming in each track. Okay, that's pretty handy. Use Control Z to turn off this function. Where I like to use some of these key commands is where if I need to zoom out on the entire project, let's say I'm zoomed way in, and I wanna zoom back out, I'll use Command A to select everything, press Z, and now we've zoomed out to the macro level of the project. But what I wanna demonstrate is the amazingness of the zoom tool when you commit these two key commands to memory. If you hold Option and Control, your mouse tool will turn into the zoom tool. Doesn't matter where it is, it will turn into the zoom tool. And then if you click, hold and drag, now you're zooming in on different sections. And again, if you don't click and hold, but just click, you back out of your zoom level. This is just brilliant. I love it. I love that it's not tied to the tracks because in some DAWs that actually have a zoom tool, the selection seems to snap to the grid. And I don't know, I just don't like that. I like the fluidity of being able to select anything and it's not snapping to the grid. So. If I just select here and we can zoom in as absolutely close as we need to get and then just keep clicking to back out of it. Additionally, if you have a trackpad or a magic mouse or maybe something with a scroll wheel, if we hold option and start scrolling down, we can start expanding the view vertically. And if you hold option and start moving to the right, you expand it horizontally. So we can actually very easily and a little more intuitively zoom in and out. And one step better is if you hold control and option and start to scroll up or down, you can actually zoom in both directions, both horizontally and vertically. So that's pretty handy. So we can zoom in and out. Personally, I like to stick with control, option, click and drag. You can use option, click and drag, but if you hover your pointer over any region, it turns back into the pointer tool and then you're not zooming anymore. Instead, you're copying and pasting regions. So just Option, Control, Zoom. Between click zones where you have the pointer tool, the marquee tool, fade tools, and using Control, Option to open up the Zoom tool anytime you need it, you basically have four tools at your disposal at any given time. So I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, as always, I highly suggest subscribing to the YouTube channel, YLogic Pro Rules, or subscribing on the website itself, YLogicProRules.com. Every week I'm posting new emails, videos, and posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. 
I'll see you tomorrow in this 30-day series.